Hey, it's Deepam. In this new and strange world we find ourselves in, many people are turning to online workshops, retreats, classes, virtual retreats. And um, the thing is that my main source of income, my livelihood, uh, is something that I can't really share online. I would love to be able to give you a massage online, but haven't quite figured that one out yet. So instead, I'd like to talk a little bit about how you can help yourself relax your body very deeply. There are so many practices out there, meditations, uh, yoga, yoga nidra in particular, that take you on a journey through the body bit by bit, fingertip, thumb, wrist, arm, but if one doesn't have the muscle memory of deep relaxation, which honestly most of us do not have, we're tense, we're doers, we're achievers, we're strivers, our lives are so busy and so full of go that to suddenly stop and go, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, now I'm going to relax, it's, uh, it's very challenging. But now, this is the opportunity that we have to really check in, to go deep, and to find out how much capacity we have for let go, for ease. So when you relax, when you take yourself into your body, switching your awareness from the outside to the inside, all those journeys through the body, what I invite you to do is to relax even deeper, to check in. You know, when we find the hand in, in a meditation, for instance, we can check in and say, you know, is it, is it deeply relaxed? Oh, yes. Because I've found often, um, sometimes when I am giving a massage and I will uh, ask the client to give me the weight of their arm, for instance, and they'll say, oh, but I, but I am relaxed. I am, I am letting you hold my arm. And uh, I'll take my hands away, and then their arm will stay suspended. Um, maybe their hand will be dangling. <laughs> so um, it, isn't, it isn't natural anymore for us to be deeply relaxed, to be in that deep let go. So this opportunity you can have to check in, to see if when you believe that you're relaxed, like uh, your face or your neck or your shoulders, check in to see if there's a deeper place to soften. And you can envision muscle, you can envision marrow, you can envision your bones softening. Take it layer by layer by layer. You can begin with the skin, then go into the muscle, then into the bone all the little ligaments and attachments of the bone to the muscle, really envisioning those just softening, letting go, imagining that ease. And as you imagine it, sending your focus to those parts of the body, the body will respond, it will. But it needs your attention, because it's forgotten. Trust me, it's forgotten. So often when I begin a session, I will ask the client to let the weight of their body be supported by the table, to really let go, to, to trust that their weight is taken. And sometimes I think that's even more important than the actual touch because it allows the body to settle, to arrive. You know, people go rush in, they're you know five minutes late and they're like, oh, my, my massage but it's really important to land and what we have right now is the opportunity to land to totally land in ourselves so take that time go through the body bit by bit by bit are your eyelids relaxed are your eyeballs relaxed don't rush just wait see if they can go even deeper deeper to the attachments to the connective tissue? Is there a way for you to encourage your body to let go even deeper, to trust your spine, to trust your bones, to trust the earth? So I wish you deep relaxation 
and as soon as I can touch you again, <laughs> as soon as it's safe, as soon as we're all back on the planet together again, in a way that we can be physically together, um, this is what I offer you. Okay, cheers for now. <laughs>